Yo guys, what is up? And welcome back to a new video. Uh, we're actually joined by one of the Driverse members and his crew are right behind us. We are gonna do one thing and one thing only today and that is review the awesome piece of kit, the Road Angel, as I've had so many questions and it's about time I show you just why you need one in your car. So if that's something that would interest you, stay tuned and GC and the PT roll the intro. Peace. <laughs> So there's another camera coming now that it should pick up on. Speed limit 30. There we go. So we've just gone under the speed limit now. It's obviously detecting that. And obviously we're safe from the Gatso camera. So as you head further down towards Outland Road now, there's gonna be a couple more locations. It's picking up on a safety camera van coming up around the corner. Right, so we've got a red light speed camera that you can see just up here. This is the one that conveniently made me lose my driver's license. But obviously we're going 22 mile an hour and a 30. So obviously the fact that it's connected to the GPS is a lot more accurate than my speedometer. So it's great, really. Poles just feel so shit because of the drive shaft. It feels rowdy. I can make it be way more rowdy than that. I do see to hit 4K. No, we won't do it. It's way too cold. There's a camera just here. So, guys, as you can see, we've got another fixed place camera right here. The detectors picked it up. Obviously, it's notified us that it's a 30 mile an hour zone. And as you can see, because we're under the speed limit, it gives us a color that's perfectly relaxed. There's another one just here. It's picked up on that too. Again, we're within the speed limit, so we've got no problems. But I will try and, in a safe area, try and get one or two mile an hour over the speed limit just to show that it does flash up and beep. But as we head round Plymouth now, there'll be a couple of different opportunities for the, uh, the Road Angel to, to do its job. Okay, so, I don't know if there's a speed camera. We'll soon find out. They're gonna think that you're filming them. <laughs> right. right, so obviously the Road Angel's picking up the fact that we're in a 30 now. We've got a couple of cameras up here, and that's exactly what it's picking up. Obviously I am going rather slow, but you know. Right, we've got another camera right here. Again, 30 mile an hour zone. Another couple of cameras here, guys. Picked up on it well in advance. So guys, we just had a bus lane and a red light, rather. Obviously the camera's just out of sight, just down there. So it's giving us warning as to where it is. Warning, camera. There we go. It's working a treat. So this is all traffic averaging. Warning, uh, uh. average speed monitoring ahead. Speed limit, 30. What I do like about this as well is it actually tells you your average speed rather than your speed itself. It's telling you your average speed, so you know what that's picking up on. Which I think is really cool, personally. You can see it just at the bottom left-hand side. Right, guys, just to finish off this Road Angel video in style, I thought the best, most accurate representation of how efficient this is, is to go across an area just like this. Now, Tamar Bridge is well known in the area for having lots of different cameras, everything from all kinds of averaging cameras, speed cameras themselves. Anyway, there's, there's more in there than I could possibly understand. So what I'm gonna do is I've stuck the phone on my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see that in the mirror. I look like a complete Wally, but all the same, I'm gonna take the car, drive within the speed limit, and I'm gonna show you exactly unedited what this is like, all right? So what I'm gonna do, just make sure that everything is working. Okay, so it's not on mute, that's what I need. And I am gonna head now over here onto the bridge and show you exactly what it's like. Right, there we go. I've got to pay to come back over the bridge, so I'm trying my best, all right? Right, notice the speed camera detector. 
We're under the speed limit. There's no reason for it to shout at me. Just, oh yeah, we've got two lanes today. That's exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it just above 30. Okay, so if you didn't hear that, warning, average speed monitoring ahead, speed limit 30. Now, like I mentioned in the previous clip, not only does it come up with the averaging cameras being here, but it's also telling us our average speed. Now, it's not going to do that yet because it needs to build that up and actually work it out. But there's a various assortment of cameras along this bridge. It's when we go in the tunnel that it's going to pick up on some as well. Now, it's most likely going to lose GPS signal halfway through the tunnel, but that's okay. It'll come back to life as soon as we come out the other end. All I want to do is pop some bangs in here, but I can't. Now I am going to loop. I am going to loop back in and do that again. As obviously cameras are pointing in different angles. Right, let's give this a second attempt. I've pulled just outside of the bridge on the lay-by and let's go ahead and do this again. the weather here in the UK today is absolutely diabolical. God forbid what anyone's going to think if they look through and see me in the car wearing my iPhone on my head. Like, understandable if it's a GoPro. <laughs> this certainly isn't a normal occurrence. Right, okay, here we are. On the way down to the toll bridge. And the rain is ruining everything, so uh, nice one weather. mile an hour zone. Old road angel over here has already picked up on that. And now we are coming into an area that should give the road angels some uh, some testing. I mean, 
and just one. Right, so as expected, it's lost GPS signal in the middle of the tunnel. That's completely normal. My phone does the same. It'll come back to life now, watch. There we go. Now guys, in conclusion to my thoughts on the Road Angel device, um, yeah, you get what you pay for. You're gonna wear, uh, you know, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna set you back anywhere from 180 to, I suppose, 280 pound, depending on which model you go for. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Does exactly what it says on the box. Should you be getting something like Waze? Because it's free, I'm not gonna lie, Waze, does things I suppose that could be perceived as useful but it is nowhere as accurate as this it's not as informative as this and it doesn't have as many locations as this I am going to do a full in-depth review of both of them right next to each other here on my windscreen driving through similar areas but I would highly recommend going into the description section below using my discount code and getting yourself one of these in your car now, irrelevant to me having a discount code, guys, this is an awesome piece of kit. I'm not just saying that. It doesn't make me any money if you use my discount code. It'll save you some money all the same. But it's just super important that we're all more careful and more aware, especially when you're in modified cars, guys. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. These cars, as you build them, they get faster. There we go, it's a bus lane camera. I don't even know where the bus lane is in here. Um. You know what, yeah, no, I really don't. I really have no idea where the bus lane is. Now, like I was saying, as your car gets faster and more modified, it becomes easier and easier to break the speed limit, guys. So it's just super important to be aware. You don't want to be driving. Don't want to be driving through a new area and get yourself in trouble. Either way, guys, I'm GCN the PT. This is my Road Angel Pure Review. Shut up! That's my Road Angel Pure Review, and I really hope that you like it as much as I do. Either way, guys, Smash the video with a like. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Discount code in description. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.